Hi, I'm Doc Jenny. Join us in the Green Hornet as we travel the back roads of beautiful North Idaho. Every day is different, challenging, and never boring as we see all the farm animals, big and small. with Dr. Jenny and the Green Hornet. Today we're going to be talking about permanent identification on our horses. In Idaho we do a lot of freeze branding so um, it's a way to identify ownership of the horses and to track a horse throughout its entire life. Uh, hot branding is a more traditional form of branding in the West and uh, we do still have some clients that do some hot branding but my preferred method is definitely the freeze branding. So we use liquid nitrogen and an application over uh, isopropyl alcohol and it changes the pigmentation in the hair and so in, rather than getting a scar in the skin the coat just comes back nice and white so it's a it, if it's done well it can look very um, it could look very pretty on the horses it can be a nice brand and um, so we're going to be doing a herd of quarter horses today uh, this owner is raising barrel racing prospects and she has just purchased a freeze brand and so we're gonna freeze brand and identify all the horses that will be uh, I think from this full crop and last year's full crop is what we're doing today uh, then in Idaho we do have a state brand law as well so the brand inspector then comes around and um, certifies that those horses are her own horses that they are carrying her brand and then they have a, a brand inspection transfer that will go with them to their new owner so that's what we're doing today it's a great way to ensure that your sorrel 14 2 hand quarter horse gelding is identified so that it doesn't look like the 3,000 other 14 2 hand sorrel quarter horse geldings out there. So uh, I enjoy freeze branding and it's going to be fun to get this herd all identified today. Shave the square. We did talk about why it's important to have the square very level on the roans. But we shave down to the skin, the size of the brand, and then we use isopropyl alcohol as a contact agent. And then we're going to hold the brand on there for 10 to 15 seconds, depending on the thin skinnedness of the horse. This horse is fairly thin skinned. And so this one will probably be, be about 12 to 14 seconds. Ten. So she's probably gonna go twelve, eleven, twelve. <laughs> yep. Look at the veins too. You can see the veins kind of pop out when you put that in there. It looks good, little girl. Look at that. Wow. Party party. So we like to make sure that we get a good welt all the way around because that's why we know that we got the good solid connection all the way. So then within like 10 minutes, this will you won't be able to see this anymore. So that will go away and then it, it'll take usually 10 to 15 days for that hair to start coming in white again. So you can also already see it starting to disappear. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. And we have to push. So I think when we're pushing, the horses are, are moving just because we're pushing so hard. So they're kind of falling away from it, but most of them they don't get super flinchy. They, it doesn't. It away, yeah, right? it goes away. Isn't that neat? And then you'll just never, you never know. There we go. Good. That was a good one. Good girl. Nice. Do you like the placement? Is that yes, about where you want perfect. it? Right below the little shoulder you know, the small, blade? The small one's plenty big enough. I think so too. Yeah. So I have one client that chose to do a hot brand, and she's got a really cool brand, but it's a, it's a bulldozer, is what her brand is. And I can't remember exactly why she decided to do the hot brand. I think it was because she had, I remember right, she does appies and she had one horse that a freeze brand wasn't gonna show up very well because of the white. So we did a hot brand and whoo, I don't ever wanna do that again. Yeah, it's not good. Even sedated and twitched. We had one mare that we couldn't, I mean, you poke her with that and she, it wasn't good, so. I mean, I know this yeah. But not, it's a, like a slow sting. Yeah. It's not the same. 
Not, you can't even see them as well. I just, I really prefer the freeze branding for a whole bunch of reasons. Look how cute you are. You're shedding out all your baby hair. You're adorable. Yes, you are. You're gonna get a beautiful little brand. It'll be very sparkly. I love freeze branding. Get my artistic side out. I know you said ready. I'm like, yep, I'm there. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Hold on, baby. There we go. Good job, baby. So we got the whole herd freeze branded today. We did 10 horses and uh, these brands within a, about 10 to 14 days are going to be coming in, starting to come in white and then you'll be able to see them from across the pasture. So it's a great visual way. Uh, you can see that it really is fairly pain free for these guys. Um, they don't tend to be sensitive over these brands over the next couple of days so it heals up really well. And then this is a permanent brand that not only carries on this breeder's legacy but makes it so that these horses are easily identifiable. So it's a great way to permanently identify the horses. So I'm a big fan of the freeze branding. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hey everybody, thanks for riding with us in the Green Hornet today. This is Doc Jenny signing out. If you like what you saw, be sure and follow us in the Green Hornet with Tormund out on the road with Doc Jenny. Just click the link below and follow us along on our journeys. See you later.